Hello again there, it's Jimmy at O'Reilly Mobile Mechanics and we are looking at a Mercedes E-Class and I'm just going to show you here a quick video of how we can test a differential pressure sensor or a DPF pressure sensor. This car is coming for a DPF that's blocked but we've also found here that there's no movement on the DPF pressure sensor there on the live data. First thing we'll do is hook up a smoke tester we've got smoke there flowing we're going to connect it up to the DPF pressure pipes there and now we're going to look for a leak if we have any leaks in the pipes cracks splits it's common then you're not going to re get, get a reading from the DPF pressure sensor okay so we've not seen no leaks we can just turn that off now we're going to use one of these Mitivax and we're going to connect that up to the pressure sensor itself so here we have the pressure sensor here and we're just going to connect our little tube onto it here. You've got two sides to it. One is the pre-DPF and one is post one. We're just going to connect it up. We can connect it to both sides obviously if you want. We're going to increase the pressure on here to about five. And then we're looking at the DPF pressure on here, which is at 0 0.899. And when we release the pressure, it's not changing. Or it's not changing when we increase it. You can see there it's not moving. It's just this one here, sorry, it's a bit of glare on the screen. And we can use a probe on the uh, connector pin there and read it on the multimeter just to make sure you've got power there. So let me just try and connect that up with one hand. You can see there we've got the 5 volts reading. So we've got a new pressure sensor here. So we just plug that in, it's all connected up. Then we'll do a uh, pressure test again on this one. And here we're going to hook up the Mitivac and we are using the pressure setting. So you can use it here, pressure or vacuum, by switching this. So we've got that connected up there. Now we'll get the uh, live data readings over. Right, so where have we got it? Let's get that to the top so it's a little bit easier to look at. So you can see there the readings changed already to 0.01. Now we'll increase the pressure on here. Just need to get that to focus. And you can see as I increase the pressure, the reading on the live data is increasing. So the difference with doing something like this is just by reading generic codes that are on the car and he's getting, you know, um, false readings um, from the from the pressure sensor and he was even looking at having the uh, DPF itself replaced and nobody's mentioned to him anything about this and he has tried cleaning the DPF a couple of times but he said within a day it comes back of course if you're not getting a reading on here it's going to come back and your car is not going to self regenerate without this working so that's just the difference between doing plug-in diagnostics and actually testing the stuff. Um, it's what we always do, we'll always test anything before, or as long as it's a testable item, we'll always try and test it and make sure that we're, we're getting some sort of, uh, you know, readings and we're getting some sort of definitive facts to say that why we're going to change it. These are some of the tools obviously that we need here today. We've got a little fuel pliers just to pull that off with. Need a diagnostic scan tool of course with live data and we have the Mitivac and we're using an all tool uh, smoke leak detector there you, all of this stuff we just bought online eBay or, or Amazon you can buy all of these tools so that's about it on this one and we'll see you on one of our next videos